Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, February 15th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My cat just ate and is wandering around. Well, there she is. Hello. Say hello. And I have with me this beautiful painting by Dee Beggarly. Makes me peaceful just looking at it. We've had a considerable amount of rain and cold here in Florida recently. And when the sun comes out and the birds sing, it makes me happy. This is Pop-Up at his best. This is his happy place. I sat on my front porch um, yesterday evening and watched as the sun descended a little bit and the birds were singing. Where is your happy place? And if you don't have one, could you make one? And if you have a happy place, let me suggest that might be the best place to pray. We continue in the book of Genesis this morning. Jacob has been working hard for years, has bought his wives, Rachel and Leah, has had tons of children, and keeps on working for his uncle Laban, who tries to swindle him by telling him that he can only pick the, he'll get the spotted ewes and, instead of the regular ewes. And he tries to get Jacob to not amass as much wealth as he should, but nevertheless, God favors Jacob. Jacob has a dream and God says, you need to leave now. Your uncle is swindling you and it's time to go back to Isaac. So he talks to his wives, which is great. He asks them what they think. And they say, you know, our father should have given you our dowry if he valued us, but instead he made you work for us, which makes us feel like possessions. We think it's time to go too. And so they set off and Laban chases after them, looking to see if he can convince them to come back because he knows he had a good thing going. I love how these wives talk to Jacob and tell him that they think it's time. There's often a time to leave home and there's a time to return when you're fully grown. Jacob rushes from his home and does a lot of work before coming back. And the girls or women now know when it's time to leave as well. But Rachel does something strange. She takes, steals her father's household gods. Now remember, Laban was not a monotheist, so his daughter probably wasn't either. They had these little figurines that protected them from uh, demons, I guess, and she steals them. Rachel's a piece of work. <laughs> So they're running off with most of Laban's wealth, his daughters, his grandchildren, and now his gods. And poor Laban is gonna be rather shaken. Um, he's relied on Jacob too much and hasn't supported himself adequately. So he's gonna run and beg for Jacob to return. When is it time to leave home? And when can you return as a full grown adult, as a person in your own right? God shows us these things. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We thank you that we all must grow and change, leave home and develop, and then perhaps one day return. We know that Jesus had to leave home but that his mother was there also at the cross when he died. We ask you to help us to know when to leave and when to return. Bless the sick today, Lord Christ. Bless the dying. Bless the hungry and the, those who are alone. Grant us wisdom in this time of change. Grant us courage and insight. And draw us ever closer to you, Lord, to our happy place 
where we may sit with you in the sunshine and give thanks for our lives. This we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son, who loved us and came to us. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.